Presets are a great tool to use in editing, but there's a little truth that sometimes gets overlooked. Let's uncover it, shall we? Will Simpson here, and welcome to Exploring Photography. Editing is a big part of photography, whether it's creating your own style, putting your own spin on things, or just expressing your art through your photos. Presets play a big part in this, but can actually limit you if you use them wrong. So what is a preset? Well, a preset is an edit that's been done to a photo and then those settings saved for further use. You can then use that preset to apply the exact same edit to different photos, either as is or once the preset is applied to adjust and change the edit as needed to work for that next photo. So what's the truth about presets? Well, a preset is an edit and can be used as an entire edit. Like you can take a photo and you can apply the preset and be done, but it should not be used as an entire edit. Presets are a great place to get ideas for edits. Like if you have a picture and you're not sure how you want to edit, well, you can scroll through some presets and see different styles or different looks to the photo, but don't use them as an entire edit. Use them simply to get an idea or for a place to start. If you start relying on presets, then you, you never learn the editing tools that you're given. You start relying on presets and that's all you know, and you don't actually know how to edit or style your own photo. And that's the downfall. So the question remains, why use presets? Well, presets are a great place to start and to learn from because when you're first starting, you may not know how to use the editing tools or how to combine different edits to get different looks. So that's where presets come in handy. You can apply one to your photo, get an idea of what you kind of like, and then look at the edit on that preset and see how it works. And then the next time you want to do the same style, try creating that edit without using the preset and then go back and forth until you start learning the different features of Lightroom, the different styles that are created, and then start creating your own presets. Now I just said create your own presets, but originally I said don't rely on presets, so why the contradiction? Well, the thing is, as you get better and better, your editing is gonna get faster and faster, and you're not necessarily gonna to wanna to spend time to apply this exact edit every time to your photo. So by creating your own presets, you give yourself a starting point, a sh little shortcut to start from. Now that still doesn't mean rely on your own presets for the entire edit. You still need to edit, use them as a starting point, but it's a little shortcut to get you past that point so you don't have, it saves you a little bit of time. Also, if you have a specific mood board or color palette that you like, especially for Instagram, you see certain accounts with like all the photos are very similarly edited. Well, this is a way to do that. You know, you apply that base edit, the preset, and then you edit from there to get your proper color. That way they all match. Since every photo is different, exposure is generally not adjusted as a preset setting. The reason for that is exposure is kind of a personal quality of the photo. Some people shoot underexposed, some people shoot overexposed, some people shoot right in the middle, and some people make mistakes, you know, so exposure is generally adjusted after the preset is applied based on the photo. The other thing to remember is that all presets will not work with the same photo. If you have a pack of 10 presets, well, four of those presets might work with photo A, the other three might work with photo B, and the other four might work with photo C, but the first four might not work with photo C and so on and so forth, if that makes sense. But that's okay, that's because each preset is designed for a different style and sometimes that style doesn't fit the colors that are in that photo. So the steps to using presets are as followed. One, import your photo and select the one you wanna edit. Two, scroll through the presets, just hovering above them and find the one that you like that fits the style you're going for. Three, adjust for proper exposure. You can do this either before or after. I tend to do it after just because sometimes the preset will set dark in the photo or light in the photo. And so I like to see what the preset does and then I adjust for proper exposure. Four, edit the photo from the preset to put your special spin on it, to make it into your style, to really give it your signature on it because you wanna make that photo yours because it's your create. And five, enjoy the beautiful picture that you have created. Share it to the world, keep it for yourself, post it on a wall, whatever you wanna do. This is your creation to do with what you please. Now some of you might be thinking that I'm leading up to selling you my presets. Well, not really. I do have my own preset pack that I created and I do sell them, they're only $10. But this is not a sales video, this is simply 
an education video for you to then use whoever's presets you want, even if you make them yourself. But it's just so you know how to use presets because in the end, you're the one creating the photo. Whoever's presets you use, if you're happy with that edit, that style, great. That's what matters. Now, if you do happen to want to get my presets, I do sell them. Unfortunately, as of this video, I do not have a website. So if you want to get them, you're going to have to DM me on Instagram and I can hook you up with them there. However, if I have gotten a website created by the time you watch this video, it'll be linked in the description. I'll update that as soon as it comes up and that'll make it easier. But until then, just DM me on Instagram and I'll hook you up. I think they're pretty good presets, but you can be the judge of that and let me know. The reason I'm selling them for only $10 is because, well, why not? I mean, they're... If they help you learn, then that's what's important. I'm not really trying to make money on them. I'm just trying to help you guys out. But remember, whether you use my presets, someone else's presets, your own presets, doesn't matter. Use them as a starting point and to learn from. You need to learn how to use Lightroom's editing tools, not rely on presets. I guarantee in the long run, you'll be much happier about that. About a week ago, before I made this video, I asked you on Instagram to send me some photos of you having used my preset and then the final edit. I asked for the raw, the preset applied, and then the final, your personal final edit. So let's go ahead and take a look at those and see how they look. Okay, so this first one is from Samantha Lindbergh. And if I mess up your names, I'm very sorry. <laughs> yes. This first one, okay, so here's the raw image. This is a great photo right here. Great exposure, looks good. So then this is the preset applied. She used my preset, Hazy Days. Now, if you notice the look here, it kind of, it upped the shadows, it kind of hazed out the blacks, and it made it look good. However, here's her final edit. Now this looks much better, much more of a wintry feel, but it still has that desaturated and hazy look. I think this final edit looks really good. The next one, this one is by Navy Seal. Now here's the raw image. It's a good looking photo, good exposure already. This is the image with the preset applied. This is the preset altitude. Now this brightened it up, really brought out the highlights and kind of overexposed it a little, but it gave a definite stylistic look to it. Now his final edit right here, that looks amazing. Using the same tones, the same mood, he darkened the image and really pulled in the shadows and made it look super good and really moody. That is a great edit right there. All right, the final one. So here's the raw image by Nomad Overland. And again, I'll link all of these guys below in the description, so definitely go check them out and uh, show them some love. So here's the raw image. We'll go to the next one. This is the Summer Breeze preset. Now this really makes the colors pop, really come alive. I mean, it's, that's a good looking photo right off the bat. But to me personally, it's a little oversaturated and he had the same thought. So this is the final edit. Now that looks so much better. I think he used that preset and then put his own style on it and I think that looks super good. So great job there guys on those photos. Those look amazing and I'm really glad you're enjoying those presets. You guys are definitely creating some incredible edits and the pictures alone, they were already pretty good. So didn't need much help from me on those. Okay, so how do you install presets? Well, first you need to download the zip file. Now I just save it on my desktop and then all you do is you double click on it. That's going to open up that file and it's going to create this file here on your desktop. Then go into Lightroom Go into the develop tab and then you're going to on the left side you'll see presets so you're going to simply click the plus sign import presets go to desktop find them and then just import the file now i've already done that so i'm not going to do that right now but you can see they're right here and you get all these presets and then you can just start using them piece of cake now i did have a little note if one of the presets looks grayed out. What that means is Lightroom is saying that it doesn't think that the preset settings are going to apply fully to the image. It, it doesn't necessarily mean it won't work, but it just means that some of the settings are pushing the bounds of that photo. So it's just might not work. So just, just as a note, that's all there is to presets. I think I covered everything, but if I didn't, and if you have more questions, feel free to comment below and let me know. Otherwise, if you like the video, give it a like, 
And uh, if you actually use the presets, if you get my presets and use them, feel free to tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you guys create because I love seeing everyone's different styles and what they see. I think it's super cool. But that's it for this video. And don't forget to enjoy the journey that is exploring photography. See you guys next time. Cool tool used in editing when used right. Wow, that's windy. The wind is just a whipping through here right now. Spin on things or expressing, wow, it's windy. I'm gonna close that window. Okay, we're back. I wonder if you guys can hear that. I doubt you guys can. It's very windy.